What's up you guys, I was so close to skipping the intro and just jumping right into the build today, but I wanted to lay out everything here and show you how excited I am to build this computer. It's been about 20 years since I've built a PC myself, I'm trying to show you that it's easier than you think. There's a lot of resources available online to make this process rather painless and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So feel free to follow along as I go through the process of building my computer from start to finish. Let's go. Thank you. 
All right, life happened. I got a little busy and I'm back to the build again today. Everything on this build is working as it should, uh, except for this fan's not working. So I'm going to change out these two fans, uh, swap the power to see if it's a power issue or if it's a fan issue. So I need to remove this once again. I think this screwdriver I'm using is a little bit bigger than what's recommended for these cases. Just a standard Phillips screwdriver. Uh, looks like this, but I think this tip is just a little big, but I do like that it's magnetic and this helps you so much <laughs> when you're trying to grab a screw that fell into your motherboard. Highly recommend having a magnetic screwdriver. I don't think it affects your components in any negative way, but look that up before you try it yourself. You know, on your motherboard setup, it shows you where all your fans are. So you just have to refer to your motherboard handbook and it tells you where all your fans are. The first time I was plugging these in, I plugged it into a water pump and it still works, but the water pump has more voltage. I don't think it's good for the actual fan. I could be wrong, uh, but I prefer to plug it into fan power slots. Having large fingers is difficult. When you're working with these little cases, little pins. Okay, since all we're doing is testing the power, I'm just gonna put a few of these screws in, but not all of them. Okay, so as you already saw, the BIOS on the computer looks okay. So now we need to set up our Windows install media. So you just need a flash drive, like eight gigabyte flash drive. This is an old one I have lying around, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in. And then we need to install the boot media onto our flash drive. And that's what we're gonna use to actually boot from. So now that my flash drive is installed, just go to Windows Install Media on Google and then go ahead and download Windows 10. Uh, you're going to need to have a key in order to uh, install Windows 10. And we are going create Windows 10 install media, download now. And this is media creation tool. Okay, put it on here. Follow the steps. And create installation media, next. Oh, so we actually wanna unclick this part. And USB flash drive, that's what we want, next. Okay, next. Another important step, we need to find our product key, Windows 10 product key, and since we already have a copy of Windows 10, we're gonna go ahead and use our own product key from our own Windows. Um, it looks like there's a process of doing this. Um, you know, check out the software guidance. Make sure you're not doing anything illegal, but you do need a product key in order to boot your new computer. So here's one way to do it. It looks like you can go from, you know, according to Tom's hardware, you can go to CMD, open up CMD uh, from your start here. So CMD, hit enter, it pulls up your menu. From here, you can type in the, type this in and it should show you your product key. So that's a process that it looks like is possible. I don't really care how you decide to get your product key, but that's one way you can do it.
Oh man. 